Hey Scorpio, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your mid-November general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So let me just Give some shout outs real quick. My favorite cousin's birthday happens to be today. As I'm doing this reading, today is November 12th. So happy birthday to my favorite cousin, Audrey. I love you. I love you. I love you. I hope you have a beautiful day. And I hope this cycle, this new cycle for you is amazing. Also, my son's godmother, Courtney, her birthday is today as well. So happy birthday, Courtney. Okay. So let me just put this out here. When I was meditating over the energy, the song that I heard was Bet You By Golly Wow. It's originated by the stylistics, but the version that I heard was Prince. I'm not saying one is better than the other. Don't, don't do that to the queen. I'm just telling you the version that I heard, okay? So I'll leave the link to the song below in the description box so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now I have to put this out here because every time I put songs, people try to correct me in the, in the, <laughs> in the comment section. I get it because you guys are diehard music heads just like me. But when I call out certain songs or certain versions of it or certain artists, that's what I'm hearing at the time. And you guys know I always connect the artist's zodiac signs with the songs because I do feel like that does tie into the reading somehow. And Prince happens to be a Gemini. And I'm going to tell you, you had a lot of, um, first of all, you're starting off at the bottom of the deck, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And at the other... You have the King of Wands. So you got Leo, Sag, Aries, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Let me tell y'all what I'm getting. So with the hook of song, they say, bet you by golly, wow, you're the one that I've been waiting for forever. I feel like what I'm getting right here, either you could be leaving a fire sign or leaving an air sign or going towards one or the other. You get what I'm saying? You'll be leaving a fire or air sign or going towards a fire or air sign. But I feel like you left a situation where you felt like this was your person or this was your person. And then come to find out that uh, someone else is. Because with these two kings, whether you're a male, female, whatever gender you are associated with as far as dating, I feel like... I don't tell you what I heard. You've been waiting for a real one. Like you may have thought one of these people was actually the one that you were meant to spend the rest of your life with. But it's like now you're getting ready to come into connection with the true person that you're meant to be with. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't doubt for a second because I didn't look up the Zodiac signs that are artists who were in the stylistics. But I can guarantee one of them definitely is probably a fire sign. And one probably is also an air sign. Whatever the case, I just feel like. I'm, I'm de wow, it's interesting. Stylistics was a group of three. Three butterflies over the head. Mm, interesting. <laughs> so one of them is definitely an air sign. But I'm going to tell you again, I really strongly feel like you thought that this one person, you know how they had that saying like, look at you living after this person that you felt like you would never live without. Like there was a devastating breakup and you felt like that was your one. Only to find out that you have somebody who's finally coming in. I feel like a lot of you all who are watching, you're single. Because, again, listen to, yep, wow, and I, I promise you I didn't even notice this. Look, nine of pentacles, single woman, single man. Yeah, a lot of you guys are single. May have been single since Virgo season. Could have been Taurus season also. Taurus season is April, May, and then Virgo season is August, September. But going back to what I was saying the, the lyrics was, bet you, and this is just the part that I kept hearing over and over again. Bet you by golly, wow, you're the one that I've been waiting for forever. So some of you guys felt like, okay, after a breakup with someone that you felt like you would marry or be in a long-term relationship with, some of you guys may have divorced. Because kings and queens are long-term consorts. There's nothing short-lived. This is something that has some time stamp to it, okay? Um, I feel like for a lot of you all, you definitely felt like you would be with this person forever. And you may have been single for a while, possibly even nine months for some of you guys. And it's like, you may have felt like, damn, when am I going to meet my person? Then all of a sudden they come in. Whichever one. I'm, I'm definitely getting fire and air here for you guys. Some of you guys may be meeting someone in sad season also with this King of Wands. Typically, the King of Wands does associate with um, Leo, very strong, but it's a minor. So it could apply to any of the other fire signs. Wow. Okay. Someone could be a dancer or can dance really good. You or, or a significant other or someone that you're meeting. You may meet someone while you're out at a so, like a social gathering and this person is dancing and they won't sit their ass down. You see, how, <laughs> you sitting right here. They're both sitting. But it's like you may be watching this person dance or this person watching you dance. You know what I'm getting at? Because in the video for the Prince song, Bet You Back Out Wild, the version, Prince's version of it, it was like this ballerina chick or lady who was dancing and she, and it was like, 
you could tell Prince's energy, he was so enthralled with her. Or at least that's how it seemed in the video. It was a big energy of dancing. So someone could be very agile. Somebody could be a really good dancer. Or somebody about to prance their ass right into your life is what I'm getting. Okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to get your major arcana, which is the death card. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, individuals. Six of Pentacles, things balancing out or needing to balance situations out in your life. I'm definitely getting something with Virgo season. Virgo season, you may have been doing some type of balancing act. Like, you know, you are aligning yourself, getting back on track after some type of breakup is what I'm getting, or some type of ending. I'm telling you, some of you guys definitely have somebody coming in at sad season. It's going to be unexpected because you can't see who he is, who she is, what they look like because there's, there's like complete coverage here. And that is sad energy. Sad season is days away, so I definitely feel as though something new is coming in. Page of Pentacles, a new offer, something coming in. Could be an earth sign too, towards regular Capricorn. Someone's first middle last initial could be C G M W P or O. Also F. First middle last initial of you or love interest. Yeah, it's something that you don't expect. You don't even see it happening. You may have even felt like it'll never happen. Because I always say sort of is just sort down is no. Source communication mental. Because some of you guys, a new person coming in may be a air sign or you are like, you see how there's like an X at the bottom? Some of you guys are blocking out an air sign. You don't want to see or hear from this person ever again. Okay. So, Major Arcana, the death card and the card that comes before and the card that comes after. For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the visuals. Okay. So, here we have some of you guys have an earth sign coming in. Ooh, okay. So, right here in front of you, you have the Queen of Pentacles, strong Taurus energy. And right behind you, you got Taurus twice. You have the World card. There you go, Taurus again. So, you got Taurus right here. Then you got Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, your energy, and also Aquarius with the World card. Travel, distance, forward, moving. You guys are moving forward into a new relationship. And I feel like also, a new person who's coming in is nothing, wow, it's nothing like the past person. The universe is calling in. They're dispatching. This is always giving me a vibe of, like, dispatching. They're calling in your spirit guides. They're calling in your soul mate, your soul tribe. First, my last initial, C, G, M, W, O, J, T, and X. You or a love interest. I just heard Xavier, Taylor, Terrence. Michelle, bottom of the deck, somebody's coming in very quickly. <laughs> so you have a knight of swords. Knights are either going into battle or coming out of battle. Somebody's coming in quickly, want to communicate with you. Maybe coming off aggressive. I'm going to tell you, if you immediately, if you ended something with an air sign, I feel like this person will be pissed off that you moved on. And now they got something to say or they feel like they have a right to say something. Mm -mm. No, you don't. Mm -mm. So let's get a clarifier for the queen of pentacles. Let's part the deck. You got brand new. Wow. Okay. So let me tell you something. A lot of you guys have an earth sign coming in strong Taurus. And I'm going to tell you something. My my son is a, a Scorpio. My daughter is a Taurus. And that's, them, them damn kids is peanut butter and jelly. Like they vibe so well. Taurus and Scorpios do hold a lot of the same values. Especially with lifestyle. If you think about it, earth and water are very compatible. Just like air and fire are very compatible. Earth and water are very compatible. So if you do have an earth sign coming in, it does. That's already like kind of giving some type of alignment and balance as far as values are concerned. I'm going to tell you, uh, my Mars is in Scorpio. My moon and my Mercury are in Taurus. And I'm going to tell you right now, people who have Scorpio and Taurus placements, they're very refined. Their taste. Like if you go to, I've never been to a Scorpio's home that has not been bomb as hell. Like really nice. Smells good. Ooh, Scorpio men, you have to smell good all the time. Scorpio women, I don't I don't know a lot of Scorpio women. I do, you know, outside my cousin. But when I think about her, she never smells like anything. She, You know how people just had a natural smell? Like she don't stink. She, she don't smell like a perfume or anything. She just has a very natural energy to her. But Taurus women and Scorpios, they are very refined. They love like luxury goods. Like they always have luxury pieces or just pieces that stand out in their home. Mostly, I, I've never met a Scorpio or Taurus that didn't have a nice car. Even if you you were like, shit, that ain't me, queen. I feel like you're not in your bag just the way you want to yet. There's other areas that you're focusing on other than monetary stuff. But I do feel like I've, I've never met a Scorpio or Taurus that did not have, like, 
very comfortable dwellings, if you will, and very nice lifestyles. They're very comfortable. I feel like both of those signs are also very tough on themselves also when it comes to their monetary life. Do that. And I was getting ready to shuffle, but I caught it. The sun card, as far like I said, as far as your monetary life, sun is the most positive card in the whole entire deck of tarot. Some of you guys are definitely single. May have been single since September. And that is Virgo season. I'm getting... I just felt, look at that, four of wands, marriage, long-term commitment. As I said, you're not going to be single long. Uh, right, that single woman, single man, in reverse, not only a single, going into marriage, long-term commitment. Mm -hmm. You're the one that I've been waiting for forever. I'm hearing that again. So a lot of you guys are getting ready. To, somebody's coming towards you. And this is going to be someone who's going to offer long-term commitment in marriage. Kings and queens are always long-term. This is nothing short. And she's holding that pinnacle. Pinnacle holds value. This person's going to see your value immediately or you're going to see their value immediately. And, and there's going to be plans to move forward. Plan the future. That's major arcana, so that's definite. Bottom of the deck, ten of wands. Carrying a heavy load, carrying a heavy burden. Again, I feel like in the past, you were dealing with something heavy. Some of you guys are taking it into your future, but I feel like those were lessons learned. Because tens in numerology talks about cycles in and cycles wrapping up. I feel like that's done. I was going to clarify for the Queen of Pentacles, for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus. I heard Aries also. So some of you guys could have strong Aries placements in your chart. Or you could be Aries. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Did I say something happened with Virgo? So you have the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. And then you have the Hermit. Wow. Look, Check me out. Did I say this past stuff? Anything a major arcana comes with, it trumps it. That hardship is right in the middle of two very powerful major arcanas. You guys have positivity coming towards you. I want you to see also in the world, you have Leo here. You got Leo here again. So some of you guys, it could be a Leo. But more than anything, you have two cards that are very much strongly linked to Virgo energy. So I feel like somebody could be single, could have been single since Virgo season. Or could be dealing with a Virgo. I did say Earth sign. You got um, Taurus, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Virgo. Strong Earth energy surrounding you guys. That's what I said. For a lot of you guys, you have Earth sign coming in. This person is very grounded. I feel like, <laughs> again, the hook of the song, you are the one that I've been waiting for forever. Someone that you've been searching for, seeking forever. The Hermit is someone who's seeking knowledge, seeking wisdom, seeking clarity. They're going on a journey. So when you are doing some type of spiritual healing from a past situation where you that made you single, you're getting ready to gallivant right into the arms of your person. Oh my fucking god! Look, 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 look. Remember, I was just talking about, and I, I kid you not, I was. I'm just noticing this. Remember, I was telling you, in the prince version. See, that's what I always don't don't question the queen. I'm telling you what I'm picking up. When in in a prince version of Betcha by Golly Wow, literally this woman was a ballerina. Look at her. That's literally the energy I'm getting here. Somebody is a very good dancer or they have a dancer's body. They have a dancer's tone, the very tone body. And of course, this one applies to everyone, but I, I'm definitely feeling like this is going to stand out for somebody. But it's like, I, I'm really getting like this person going to dance their way right into your heart, right into your life. I feel like you're going to meet, a lot of you guys are going to meet this person in a social setting. Where there's like music where people can actually be dancing, some type of lounge, some type of club, some type of a venue some type of event and i want to tell you i want you to notice in both cars you have a star in his lantern you have a star right there and then this this also does have aquarius in it which is major kind of star so there could be an aquarius in the picture also but more than anything that's wish fulfillment and healing like you're the one that i've been waiting for forever you are my wish come true and i know that may sound lame and cliche but you guys aren't going to be single too much longer if you're single because you got somebody coming into your life you have somebody coming to see a reality. You do. Strong earth energy. Earth. So you have Taurus, Virgo, definitely Leo, Aquarius for sure, and even your own energy. But I feel like that's you. You could be dealing with fellow Scorpio also, but I'm not getting that for the bulk of you. I feel like this is just your energy being present because you're in alignment. You are in a stage of alignment. You have done some, you know, some self seeking you're tapped in you're tuned in you you've been alone for a while because you were at one point the nine of pentacles upright which means you were on a journey alone doing some healing doing some reflecting tapping into the higher realm i feel like a lot of you guys a breakup sensuous is like some type of spiritual awakening you know what i'm saying like it's made you awaken to what's going on in your life 
or the things that you allowed into your life. Because it does look like there was an energy of sadness. You see how he has his eyes closed and he has his head down. A lot of you guys may have possibly had to force yourself to move forward after some type of breakup or heartbreak. But look, you have ascended. You have ascended. You have one major arcana clarified by another. That's very powerful. Major arcana are definite energy. So you guys are ascended. You have clarity. And now that you've done the work, because this is someone who's done the work. They've been through the trenches. Now that you've done the work, you are getting ready to move forward in a very positive way. And I don't, I don't get that you're going to be single much longer. Again, you could have been single since September. Or you could have been single for nine months. Some of you guys even nine years. I would not be surprised. I mean, it happens. Because even, again, in the song, he says, you're the one I've been waiting for forever. Nine years will be a very long time. So it's like... You may have given up hope on love or meeting someone, but now your wish is coming true. Okay? So, Scorpio, someone rising in Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care. Bye.